morning everyone, Paul here again, um, out here on a new system for me. I've never fished this place before, it's relatively close to Melbourne. Uh, there should be some good brim in here, I've been told to expect lots of weed. I'm already seeing that on the sounder, but seeing a few fish coming through, I'm going to throw some shallow diving hard bodies, try a bit of surface this morning. The water temperature is pretty cold, we're probably sitting around 15, 16. Um, we'll see how we go, hope you guys enjoy the episode, and we'll see you shortly, cheers. Good morning. So, like I said in the intro, very shallow system, 0.8 of a metre, lots of weed. I'm going to start off with a bent, see if we can get one first up, and then we'll switch over to some shallow diving hards. Just making a nice long cast, twitching that bent like a, like a skipping prawn across the top. And I'm going to leave it sit for quite a while, just because of the cold, cold weather, cold water about five degrees this morning Celsius so I think these fish are gonna be a little bit lethargic before it uh, starts to warm up later in the day or later in the morning rather we're expecting a top of 19 degrees Celsius which is uh, just gonna be a nice autumn day for us here fish on the sounder there that I'm seeing. This is the deepest patch that I've found so far in 1.4 meters. I've seen some good shadows. I would definitely throw a plastic around. Let's do that. Let's pick up that monster Miki and just cast around this hole that we're in. So I'm pretty much surrounded by weed. I've got weed coming up, but definitely seeing fish out to the left of me. <laughs> so we'll just spin around and fish this patch again. We'll just slowly keep working our way through and hopefully there's similar patches around us of deeper water with some, with some clean ground that we can just cast around, like I said at the start. You know, I'll just be able to pick apart these little pockets of weed. Again, seeing some shadows there on the left. There's definitely fish around. I think it's just a matter of time. Put another cast up there. Just wait for a proper eat, so to speak. Oh, yep, there we go. That was a brim pluck. Good head shakes, just a little fish. Oh, come on, mate. Oh. Good, pretty good fish in the end. All right, out in the deep water. We'll just get rid of all that salad. Bail arm. There we go. That's the first one for the morning. On that monster Miki. Alright, I'll grab a couple of photos and put him back. Okay, so I made my way a bit further down the system. And I've just been visually trying to find fish, trying to find fish, and I finally just spooked a whole heap of nice brim. So I'm just gonna slow down, just have a bit of a fish, see if I can see if I can come across a few more or see if I can get one to eat. I'm just trying to pedal to another part of the system where I'm thinking maybe there's some you know salt water coming in or something like that. A bit of current, 
I know we had the fountain on one end, but just wasn't doing enough for me. And there's a little brim, come up, had a look. just on the edges of those weeds. Okay, I've moved back to an area where I sort of passed through before. The water's really cleared up. There's some massive differences in water clarity around the system. And I've just passed a pipe over to my left over here. So I'm just gonna make some casts. I saw some big fish sitting on the pipe. There's a bit of growth on it. There's one. He's just taking that. Oh, is it? As you guys can see, it's super clear. Uh, and he was going to try and get me back in the weeds. So I'm just keeping a semi tight line on him. Even though I've had to go pretty light in here, I'm running four pound. First or second cast after we stopped. All right, well, that's a better one. It's our best one for the morning. Again, on the monster. Might throw the grub around here. But there he is. All right, as usual, grab a few photos and put him back. Oh, let this guy go. into the weeds. Oh, there's one coming out of the weeds. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Come on. Oh. Yep, got him. Oh, saw him come out. That was cool next cast. Come on buddy, out of those weeds please. There he comes. Just a big old clump now. That was very cool. So he was sitting in there. Couldn't see him at first and his nose came out. There we go. That's number three, two and two casts. So maybe we're onto something here. Sorry, mate, that. That was cool. Over a blind cast. He's, oh, pull the hooks. That was a better one. Some good head shakes there. Look at that boil. Ooh, okay, that was a good one. Alright, back on the grub. Got some fish to the left of me on the side imaging. Just put one out there.
Yep. Dick. And the grub. Very golden dark fish. I've been living in the weeds. Nice. Let that guy go. I'll punch one out. Back out there. I haven't really fished up there much. Weight on that. Put a bit of scent on, first cast out with the scent. See if we can convert one of these lookers into a taker. Maybe they'll grab onto it for a bit longer. Finally got a bit of a ripple on the water, so that's gonna help me. Those fish will be a bit harder for them to see me. They should be a bit more aggressive. Might even get some, yep, there we go. Oh, just like we said. out of there buddy. Not sure how big this guy is. Could be a good fish actually. Uh, nah, just a good scrapper. Just a good scrapper, but that scent has just gone whooshka. Second cast with a scent, just a little guy, but just goes to show you. Tech, a little spider came out and whacked it. Made a good cast in tight to the dark little patch, dark shadow that I could see, which would have been an undercut of these weeds. Apologies for the wind noise. It's, uh, I'm sure it's a little bit noisy at the moment, but there's not much I can do about that. I saw him come up behind it. Hopefully that comes up in the uh, in the GoPro footage. But uh, I was just reeling that plastic back in. Sorry for covering the lens, but it's kind of in the way there. All right, another little little fish in the channel. Just putting up with this wind, but getting a few fish now. Yep. Yep. Into a little 
hatchway through and there he was. Oh, get out. Oh, he's got me deep in the weeds now on four. And this wind is not going to make life easy. I'm going to have to spin around. Yep. Oh, that's a good tick. Poor little guy. I'm just fishing this little point, I suppose you could say, but it's also a, uh, a merger of three little creeks, three little channels that are coming together. So it's going to be a bit of current here assisted by the, the wind, or wind assisted current rather. As you can see, it kind of swings around. We've got a, a thick grass mat and then some open water. So I'm just going to try down here have a couple more casts. That was the first sort of cast in the spot. It looked really good and sure enough had a couple of goes at it and ticked it. Not a big fish but maybe there's some bigger ones down here. Yep, second cast. Oh, might be a better one. Yeah, that's a, that's a better one than that one before. Got some colour on him. Or so. Oh, that was a little bump. Yep. Oh, yep. Nailed it. Oh, this is very cheeky of me, but yep, oh, yep. <laughs> oh, it just looked too good. It just looked too good not to have a cast at. And he's a better one too. He's trying to get back in the weeds. Oh yes, yes. In that little hole, guys. Just a little, oh, pulled the hooks, but we all got to see him. Just in that hole right there. Just did a little underhander, a little hop, bang. Straight on. Incredible. Hey guys, well that's it. That's the end of the episode. What a fascinating day. I really don't know what to say about that uh, that location. You know, I ended up with about 15, 20 brim for the day. Took a little while to figure them out this morning um, where I was just casting out in the deep section. The sun, quite wasn't, sun wasn't quite right for me to start sight fishing and being able to see where the patches were and how they were set up and where the deep pockets of those patches were. And it wasn't until probably 9, 10 a.m. when that sun came up a little bit higher and I started to really focus in on what the weed was doing and where those fish were positioning within the weed and, and how my casts and retrieves had to be. And that's when we really started to pick up fish. But overall, it's a, a fascinating little system. You know, it feels like it's landlocked. There's no current. There's very little salt, if any. It feels very fresh. You know, there's no salt on the kayak, nothing on the hands, rods and reels. Um, so would I come back? Probably not for a little while. I'm gonna give it a couple of months. It's, I was happy that I took on the challenge to try and figure it out. As I said, I had a little bit of advice, but I really wanted to come out and get a fish on hard bodies twitching, but could not get a hit for the entire day. So I had to go with plastics. Um, and as you guys saw, still had to go to a Z-Man grub. That was one of my other challenges for myself personally, was to stay away from a cranker crab and a Z-Man grub. But with how tough it was, and that wind towards the end, I really had to pick up the grub rod and uh, and pull a few fish doing that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the episode. It was something different. I hope you learned something from it. And I'll see you next episode. Cheers.